We do not know what or why gravity is, but we can measure it. We can predict its effects. We're grounded by its force, but we're able to build. But for watches, it's a poison, weighing down the pallet fork and the escapement every moment. It affects timekeeping. It won't make you late, but as a matter of principle, it's a defect. Within the lifetime it was theorized, Abraham Louis Breguet neutralized it, the universe's most dominant force. On June 26, 1801, he patented the defiance of gravity. By placing the escapement in a rotating cage, he was able to counteract the downward force, tick by tick. Breguet's tourbillon is a victory in the pursuit of perfection. In a watch without gravity, there is balance, there is accuracy. The escapement is not pulled, time is not bent. It's not that there's no gravity in a tourbillon, it's that they fought against it. What has fallen floats. This is the classique extra thin squalette. Its caliber is three millimeters thick and its rotor is placed in the periphery. Its architecture is amazing. Its bridges are perfectly hand finished. The frequency is four Hertz and power reserve 80 hours. It's a mechanical marvel, an expression of genius, of dedication to horology. The tourbillon is a complication without any practical application, but with purpose. It has meaning. To wear one is to be a patron, a lover of watchmaking, a supporter of the craft. Did Brigue know his namesake would go this far? I don't know. But it's thanks to him. Thank you, Abraham. <laughs>